Hey y'all, what's going on? Athena Amoeba. I'm just here dyeing my hair. Uh, guess what color? Blue. It's crazy. Uh, I just wanted to pop in with another update, of course. So, my last video, I was obviously pretty distressed and feeling overwhelmed, and I understand why. But I really had nothing to worry about. My first week at my job was beyond amazing. This is like everything that I've ever wanted out of a job. We get paid really well. I'd say really well for the position that it is. It's the most that I've ever gotten paid um, because my last organizing job paid me the same. So I'm still making the most that I've ever gotten paid to date. But the working culture is so different. Like they really care about their employees. They give us free lunch every day. That's pretty much healthy. And they give us $600 stipend in order to spend on anything health related. So like, just, it's amazing. Like every day this week I felt so grateful and happy. <laughs> and grateful is just like the main word. And you know, up until this point I've felt very almost hopeless like I felt hopeless like nothing in my life was gonna change I felt like I was stuck in this like wheel in this cycle that I didn't want to be in and I didn't feel good about myself and I you know I still have a lot about myself that I want to change and improve but I don't feel stuck anymore like I feel like everything is gonna fall into place now because I'll have the resources to do it I'll have the time to do it you know so that feels really good. It feels good to to not feel stuck anymore. But that being said, what I really wanted to say is like it's actually made me grateful for like everything that I've gone through. Like I mean everything that I've gone through because I don't think I could feel as grateful as I do now if I didn't know what it was like to feel so bad, <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I'm actually, it might sound crazy, but I'm actually grateful for all the things that just a few months ago, you know, I, I felt miserable about, I felt horrible about, that I felt regret about, that I wish I could turn back time and do things differently and take a different path and, you know, I don't feel that way anymore because knowing what it was like to struggle with money, knowing what it's like to have, you know, financial issues, financial struggles, knowing what it was like to work miserable jobs, knowing what it was like to feel like I hate myself, knowing what it was like to feel like I'm not living authentically, like I'm not living true to my nature or I'm not being in tune with myself and I'm not being authentic, not because I'm trying to not be authentic, but just because I'm so disconnected from myself. I don't know what that means. Going through all that and now feeling like I'm coming out of it has made all the good things that are coming into my life feel so much better than they could have ever felt if I just had them, if that makes any sense. So I'm just feeling really grateful. And that's why, you know, the contrast of the bad feelings I've had have made these good things all the better, honestly. And so if you're going through a hard time, I don't want to sound stupid um, or dismissive of what you're going through, but the bad things that you're going through, once they're over and you are in something good, you're going to appreciate that so much more because you're going to know what it was like to be without those things. And I think that just creates such a deeper sense of appreciation than you could have for something that you never knew what it was like not to have. If that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so, today I'm dyeing my hair. I'm going to be plucking my eyebrows right now. And um, I just wanted to give that update uh, about how grateful I feel. And also, I wanted to update right now because I'm really starting to feel more connected to myself. And right now, as I was dyeing my hair, so I took a... a personality test at work and there was like these different um strengths it was a, a strengths test and of course you know it doesn't mean that it's like 100 percent true or that it's like bible or whatever but i mean you know it's kind of like horoscopes but mine like a lot of people got mixes of 
colors, like each strength fell under a category and those categories had colors. And all of mine, because we all got, there was 34 and they ranked all 34, but we really got to focus on our top five. All of my top five were blue. And all of the blue ones had to do with creating connections and like more like people based, more like caring about people. Even though I haven't been the best at maintaining connections lately, or like I haven't been the best at being a good friend lately. At my core, I think I do genuinely care about people a lot. And that's not to say like, you know, oh, other people don't. It's just I think that that's what drives me more than anything else is connection. And so that's what I got. And my color was blue. So I just thought this is like really fitting that I have blue hair and I'm dyeing my hair blue and like... I'm kind of just like, and like what I just kept thinking is, as I was putting the dye on my hair was like embrace your inner nature, like embrace your true nature, like just allow it to be like whatever you truly feel, whatever you truly want, just embrace it. Because I feel like I squash myself a lot, like I repress myself a lot would be the right word. And I'm starting to not repress myself. So that's going to be an interesting process. So instead of trying to, because I feel like I've always strived to define myself. But by defining yourself sometimes, I think you limit yourself and you can lose yourself. And so right now, I don't want to define myself. I don't want to say, like, I'm this, even though I just said, oh, I'm blue, embrace my inner nature. But I mean, like, naturally, I feel that way. And I'm not going to, like, try to be that way because I've been defined that way. But I'm just going to allow myself to do whatever feels natural and whatever feels authentic to me. Like, that's something I'm really going to practice because, like I said... That's something that I haven't practiced because I, di I didn't know how to be authentic because I wasn't connected to myself. And now that I feel like I'm connecting to myself more, I'm just going to embrace my true nature, embrace who I am, embrace what I truly, genuinely feel, which is going to be a process. <laughs> it's not necessarily going to be easy. It's not necessarily going to just come naturally. But whatever I feel, I'm really going to strive to just honor it, acknowledge it, and then like try to go with it the best that I can. So that's going to be interesting, but that's how I was feeling right now as I was dyeing my hair, just like embrace your inner nature, embrace your true self. And also, um, I was watching some like witchcraft videos. To me, what I believe is powerful. I mean, there's so much out there, so I'm not saying that this is true for everybody, but I'm just saying for me. I think that, I think we all, I think like every single person is powerful. I think every single person has the ability to tap into other energies, the larger, broader energy, and connect and make things happen. I think we have to truly believe in things in order to make things happen. Like we can't simply want something, but then subconsciously not believe in it. Like if you, you, ha you can want something, but you have to, truly believe in it at your core and if you don't believe in it you have to practice believing in it until you actually do and I think that's when you can make things happen that's personally what I believe and I believe that all these different practices all these different religions all of these different spiritualities are just vehicles or ways that we could practice believing faith belief whatever you want to call it if praying for something helps you believe that it will come much more, then praying is very powerful. If casting spells makes you believe that something's going to happen that much more and you truly believe it, then spells are really powerful. You know, that's what I believe in. So to me, getting in touch with, um, I've always been pretty spiritual. I've read tarot for a long time, been into kind of like witchy stuff. And to me, getting in tune with all that stuff and practicing that stuff just really is a method for me to help me believe in the things that I want to believe in, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so um, I'm just thinking about that and thinking about getting in tune with that um, and just being like really intentional about what I do and just trying to bring a little bit more magic into my life, you know, in a, in a fun way, though not a serious way, but make it fun and make it a practice so that I can slowly start to believe in things that I want to be true so that I can bring the power behind that <laughs> desire 
to make things happen. So I'm sure I'll be posting more about that as time goes on. But for now, that's all I got. I hope you all are having a great weekend. I hope you all believe in yourself or put in the work to begin to believe in yourself and follow your authentic path. Let me know in the comments below what, uh, what you want to believe in. What do you want to believe in? Let me know in the comments below. You can make it happen.